हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भटनागर वर्किंग एज सीनियर सर्च ऑफिसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एग्नोमी एट जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंतनगर उत्तराखंड हेयर आई टेल यू अबाउट द रीजन रिलेटेड टू जीरो टिलेज जीरो टिलेज टेक्नोलॉजी अडोप्टेड इन सर्टन एरियाज एंड इट इज़ वेरी गुड टेक्नोलॉजी फॉर सर्टन क्रॉप्स एंड दे आर सम रीजन्स रिलेटेड टू जीरो टिलेज सो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वाट आर द रीजन्स why there is so that zero tillage is suitable for light texture soil it is very good technology for light texture soil like sandy soil loamy sand soil etc and in zero tillage more seed rate is required high rate of nitrogen is required for zero tillage grown crops then there is a more problem of perennial weeds when we adopt zero tillage for longer period and this zero tillage technology is not suitable for organic farming it is not adopted under organic agriculture so what are the reasons uh, behind these facts so first of all that uh, zero tillage we should know about the zero tillage as the name indicate zero there is no tillage operation in the soil only furrow opening is done so it is the extreme form of minimum tillage where tillage is restricted only to opening of furrow as the name indicates that there is no tillage operation but actually in zero tillage we open the furrow by fertility seed drill or any other means so there is opening of furrow so this is the tillage operation it is only restricted to opening of furrow then seeds are put in the furrow so this is the zero tillage actually this zero tillage was adopted in soil eroded area actually light textured soils Uh, are prone to erosion water erosion and wind erosion because in light textured soil soil particles are not bind together with the force their attraction force between the particles is very less that's why they are susceptible to erode so they are detached very easily by the force of wind and water and they uh, are susceptible to erosion so light textured soil mein erosion ki problem hoti hai kyunki unke particles bahut फोर्स से बाइंड नहीं होते हैं और वो इरोड हो जाती हैं इन केस ऑफ हैवी टेक्सचर सॉइल पार्टिकल साइज इज स्मॉल एंड दे आर बाइंड टाइटली टुगेदर एंड एक्चुअली इन हैवी टेक्सचर सॉइल क्ले कंटेंट इज मोर एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस क्ले कंटेंट द अट्रैक्शन फोर्स बिटवीन द पार्टिकल इज हाई फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट इज इफ इट इज लाइट टेक्सचर सॉइल पार्टिकल्स आर लार्ज एंड दे आर नॉट Uh, bind together by the force so these particles when we act through tillage operation they uh, detach very easily and they are as uh, detached easily by the force of uh, wind and water so there is a soil erosion problem but in case of uh, heavy textured soil particles are very small and uh, actually these are clay particles and their attraction force between the particles is very high and they are not detached easily by the uh, force of uh, tillage implements or wind or water that's why the problem of erosion is less so actually zero tillage is was adopted for uh, eroded soil area kyunki jo light textured soil hai wahan hum tillage operation karenge to particles aur easily detach ho jayenge to jo wind chalegi ya water hoga usse soil erosion zyada ho jayega so that's why in those area tillage operations were restricted so that erosion is reduced and the extreme form is zero tillage so actually zero tillage was adopted in soil eroded area to conserve the soil and in zero tillage only there is a opening of furrow if soil suppose soil mm. is light textured large part and this soil is suppose heavy textured and we have tillage implement like that this tillage implement then this tillage implement can detach the particles and we can drop the seed and here more force is required in heavy textured soil more force is required for opening of the furrow while in case of light textured soil less force is required so this is the reason that this zero tillage operation can be easily done in light textured soil less force is required so <clears throat> first one is the uh, theory behind the zero tillage why it was adopted it was adopted in soil eroded area and the light textured soils are more prone to erosion so their erodibility is very high 
ऐसी लाइट टेक्सचर्ड सॉइल बहुत जल्दी इरोड हो जाती हैं तो इसलिए वहां जीरो टिलेज को अडोप्ट किया गया ताकि टिलेज ऑपरेशन कम से कम किया जाए टिलेज करने से सॉइल पार्टिकल्स डिटैच हो जाएंगे और जल्दी रोड इरोजन होगा सेकेंड वन इज दैट इन इफ वी अडोप्ट दिस जीरो टेक्नोलॉजी इन हैवी टेक्स्टर्ड सॉइल एंड सपोज वी आर यूजिंग ए फर्टी सीट ड्रिल और ए फरो ओपनर और एनी इंप्लीमेंट देन वी हैव टू पुट मोर फोर्स We have to apply more force for opening of furrow because soils are tightly bound. So that's why this uh, uh, heavy soils are not suitable for heavy textured soil, and this is suitable for light textured soil. So in light textured soil, in sandy soil, sandy loam soil, loamy sand soil, this technology can be adopted easily. If we are using zero tillage technology in heavy textured soil, and we want to sow the crop. Through zero tech, uh, zero tillage in heavy textured soil, then the depth of opening of furrow will be very less because we have to require more force. So, ज़्यादा force लगाना पड़ेगा और furrow की opening भी क्या होगी बहुत कम होगी and we we put the seed in less depth furrow, then they are exposed to birds and uh, other damage. तो उनमें proper germination नहीं होगा क्योंकि proper depth की opening नहीं हो पाएगी. So this is the reason that zero tillage is suitable for light textured. सॉइल तो ये आपको पता होना चाहिए कि जीरो टिलेज क्या जो है कॉन्सेप्ट क्यों आया था वो सॉइल इरोजन को कम करने के लिए आया था और लाइट टेक्सचर्ड सॉइल में इरोजन की प्रॉब्लम ज़्यादा होती है दूसरा जीरो टिलेज से लाइट टेक्सचर्ड सॉइल में कम फोर्स लगाना पड़ेगा ओपनिंग हो जाएगी फरोगी और हैवी टेक्सचर्ड सॉइल में ज़्यादा फोर्स लगाना पड़ेगा ओपनिंग के लिए अंदर इज दैट वाई मोर सीड रेट इज रिक्वायर्ड सो इन जनरल वीट क्रॉप इज ग्रोन बाय जीरो टिलेज सो अबाउट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी परसेंट higher seed rate is used so the reason is that uh, in uh, if we sow the crop through zero uh, tillage then there is no tillage operation and suppose this is the soil uh, so this is uh, soil surface and we are opening the furrow and we are putting the seeds and this soil is not pulverized there is no tillage in soil so the the layer below the seed is very hard so their root deployment initially is very less and their seedling emergence is less and then the tillering is very less because there is no pulverization of soil soil is as such and we are putting the soil by opening the furrow so they force a resistance there is by the soil so root deployment is poor as well as tillering is poor suppose the seed germination is there seed emergence and tillers emerge from this region crown root particularly in wheat okay so this uh, tillering is less so growth is less and tillering is less that's why to compensate this yield loss we increase the seed rate so this is the reason so in zero tillage uh, system if wheat is sown tillering is low plant height is less because in initial years because we are not going for tillage so soil is not pulverized the so soil bahut hard rehti hai niche compact rehti hai to root deployment kam hota hai tillering kam hoti hai aur overall growth kam hoti hai to yield kya hogi kam hogi per unit area to is yield ko loss ko kam karne ke liye hum kya kar dete hain seed rate bada dete hain next is a high rate of nitrogen application in zero tillage system actually soil is not exposed and organic matter is present in soil here organic matter is present suppose this is organic matter and the nutrients are released through mineralization process and mineralization is brought by microbes and they require oxygen and oxygen supply is through tillage operation actually there is no tillage operation and this zone is actually compact no tillage and uh, aeration is less aeration to bhi tillage se hoga jab hum tillage karenge to soil expose hogi usse aeration badhega lekin hum jab soil ko expose hi nahi kar rahe hain koi turning nahi ho rahi hai no turning of soil to aeration ka hai kam ho jayega microbial activity is less and because of this less microbial activity there is less mineralization of organic matter and release of nitrogen is less so that's why we have to increase the rate of नाइट्रोजन तो जीरो टिलेज सिस्टम में इस कारण से हम नाइट्रोजन को भी बढ़ा देते हैं इट इज अबाउट इंक्रीज अबाउट ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव 
percent so this is the uh, reason because of poor aeration so the, the main reason is poor aeration which causes less mineralization of organic matter and for more mineralization more nutrient release microactivity should be high and this is possible with the more aeration which is not occur in case of zero tillage so zero tillage mein jo niche ki soil hai usme koi aeration nahi rehta hai soil expose hi nahi ho rahi hai to jo microactivity ki jaye sare processes mein kya hote hain kam हो जाते हैं तो ऐसे केस में हमें नाइट्रोजन का रेट बढ़ाना पड़ता है देन देर इज अ मोर प्रॉब्लम ऑफ पेरिनियल बीड सो दिस इज दी वेरी वी कैन से दिस इज द डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ जीरो टेल सिस्टम व्हेन वी अडॉप्ट द जीरो टेल सिस्टम फॉर थ्री इयर्स फोर इयर्स फाइव इयर्स देन प्रॉब्लम पेरिनियल बीड्स आर मोर सैनोडोन टक्टाइल डूब घास जो है वो बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ जाती है दिस इज दी वी कैन से डिसएडवांटेज ऑफ जीरो टेलेज दैट मोर प्रॉब्लम ऑफ perennial weeds particularly uh, cyanodon dactylon and we cannot uh, go for mechanical beading or any other uh, means which uh, is used for uprooting of weed so mechanical means are not used we rely only on chemical uh, weed control so what is the reason that there is only perennial weeds uh, suppose uh, this is soil uh, surface and so weed growth is there suppose these are weeds in first year suppose this is the first year of uh, zero tillage adoption and there is seed setting and seeds fall on this soil surface seeds fall on this uh, soil surface and in next season the only there is a furrow opening there is a furrow opening suppose this is a furrow opening next season and we sow the seeds and the weed seed remain on soil surface and now these seeds are exposed to birds and they are decay by solar radiation and there are decomposition of seeds so there there why the population of annual weeds decreases so zero tillage system and annual weeds ki population kam hoti jayegi this is the reason that fallus minor population reduces in wheat so wheat mein jab hum zero tillage operation ko adopt karte hain to fallus minor population kam ho jayegi uh, the reason is that seeds are on soil surface and throughout the year they remain on soil surface and they are exposed to heat cold birds and solar radiation decomposition by microbes so this is the reason that uh, annual weed population decreases in normal tillage what happens there is a tillage and through tillage these seeds uh, uh, come into the deeper layer suppose there is fallus minor seed and we are going for conventional tillage harrow in next season then they come into the uh, lower depth and they are saved from damage from uh, solar radiation heat cold Uh, and birds and the next season when we go for tillage they come again on the soil surface okay and they germinate they are mixing and they germinate so this is the uh, reason that in conventional tillage system seeds are on soil surface and by the tillage they come into the deeper layer and they are saved from the loss and again next season through tillage the soil is exposed soil is turned and they come on the soil surface okay and upper layer not soil surface upper layer and they germinate so their population increases but in case of zero tillage they remain on soil surface so yadi maan lijiye soil surface hai yahan seeds pada hua hai and soil is not exposed throughout the year in zero tillage system and this seed is exposed to uh, rainfall to high temperature low temperature birds fungus bacteria etc and their population reduces so this zero tillage is very good technology to reduce the fallus minor population in wheat तो जिस एरिया में वीट में फेलिस माइनर की पॉपुलेशन बहुत ज्यादा हो वहां जीरो टेलेज अडॉप्ट करना चाहिए द रीजन इज दैट सीड बैंक रिड्यूजेज बट द प्रॉब्लम इज पेरिनियल वीट्स बिकॉज पेरिनियल वीट्स प्रोपोगेट थ्रू वेजिटेटिव मटेरियल एंड वेजिटेटिव मटेरियल रिमेन ऑन द सर्फेस अपर द सर्फेस बिलो सर्फेस एंड दे प्रोपोगेट वेरी इजिली सो पेरिनियल पॉपुलेशन वीट पॉपुलेशन इंक्रीजेज पर्टिकुलरली साइनोडॉन डेक्टॉयल ऑन विच इज नोन एज डूब ग्रास इसकी पॉपुलेशन जो है बहुत ज्यादा बढ़ जाती है सो दिस इज द डिसएडवांटेज और कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ जीरो टिलेज सिस्टम दैट पेरिनियल वीट्स इंक्रीजेज एंड टू कंट्रोल द पेरिनियल वीट्स वी हैव टू अप्लाई हर्बिसाइड्स बिकॉज वी कैन नॉट अडॉप्ट एनी मैकेनिकल मींस हो और कल्टिवेटर वी कैन नॉट डू एनी टाइप ऑफ मशीन और इक्विपमेंट्स वी कैन नॉट गो फॉर एक्सपोजिंग द सॉइल so only alternate available is herbicide because no uh, secondary operation or no intercultivation operations are allowed in zero tillage now the only option available is 
herbicide application. So in zero tillage, weeds are controlled by herbicides, particularly those herbicides which are non-selective. Actually, these non-selective herbicides are applied before the sowing of the crop. So when we have to do sowing of the crop, we will do what we Suppose we are going for sowing the crop and this is the breed population and then we go for non-selective herbicide application. Non-selective and this kill all the vegetation and then we go for opening of a row and then we go for sowing. So non-selective herbicide are used. But this non-selective herbicide uh, should have less residual uh, time, less residual effect. Otherwise, if residual activity is high, then it will hamper the growth of the crop. So less residual effect and non-selective herbicide is applied to kill this vegetation. So perennial weeds are killed by such type of herbicides and paraquat is generally used. So in zero tillage, paraquat is used. It is non-selective uh, contact herbicide and glyphosate can be uh, can also be used to kill this. Uh, herbicide. So generally paraquat is used, it is non-selective, contact herbicide and residual effect is less. So there is a close relationship between the paraquat and zero tillage. So weed control is only possible by the herbicide because no intercultivation is allowed in zero tillage. Since herbicides are used, chemicals are used, that's why it is not adopted in organic farming or organic agriculture. So zero tillage adoption is very difficult in organic farming. If we are using the zero tillage in organic farming, then it is very difficult to control the weeds because there is no means. So only hand removal, hand pulling uh, uh, is to be adopted in organic farming and huge labor is required because if we are adopting the zero tillage in organic farming, perennial weed population will increase and we have to use more human labor for the hand pulling and removal and require more uh, labor, more time, more money. So that's why it would not be economical. So this is reason that in organic farming zero tillage adoption is not done because here in zero tillage weeds ko se control karte hai? herbicide se karte hai? and in organic farming no chemical is required, no herbicide is required, no insecticide is required, not allowed. So this is the reason that uh, zero tillage is not uh, adopted in organic agriculture and organic farming. So these are the some uh, facts and the reasons related to zero tillage. And it is not that the, the zero tillage technology is not good. Zero tillage technology is site specific technology. We should use in those area there is a uh, soil erosion. It is a good technology for soil eroded area, particularly light textured soil. It is good in those area where uh, uh, annual weeds pose a problem and to break the uh, weed cycle to reduce the seed bank and with the some specific uh, agronomic management uh, zero tillage is uh, beneficial technology if we are not adopting the zero technology with the all set of practice then our yield may be reduced when you adopt the zero tillage in initial one two or three year yield is less but after three or four years yield increases because there are some uh, advantages related with the uh, zero tillage because uh, in zero tillage system uh, there is no hard pen formation and as in case of conventional tillage system in case of conventional tillage system we are repeat uh, we are we go for repeated tillage three harrowing four harrowing and it causes a hard pen deployment up to a height of uh, 15 centimeter 20 centimeter but in zero tillage system there is no heavy traffic no heavy load and no deeper layer hard pen formation then organic matter content increase increases because there is no turning of soil ox there is less oxidized condition less aerobic condition so organic matter, there is a buildup of organic matter. So these are the some advantages of zero tillage, but the zero tillage should be adopted with all set of practice. It is not only confined to opening of a uh, furrow and putting the seed. So some people understand that in zero tillage, we have put the opening of seed and this is zero tillage. Ho gaya. It is a one component of zero tillage system, zero tillage technology. We have to adopt the, all these set of practice that is developed for that particular condition. So it is very good technology for and it is site specific technology particularly uh, those sites which are prone to soil erosion. So these are the some facts related to zero tillage. Thank you very much.